Hello YouTubers, if you are preparing a trip to Bali, this vlog will be very helpful for you. We gather all the information that we had for each city and hope this will be useful for you. We also did a daily vlog for our journey in Bali in case you would like to see more of it. If you guys like this review, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more. All that said, let's dig in. Your international flight will land at the airport of Ngura Ray. To help you during your travel, we recommend that you bring an unlocked smartphone with you so you can easily have access to GPS and all kinds of information at any moment. Right after you pick up your luggage, you'll find a small stand selling local SIM card for your phone. Buying your SIM card at the airport can be pricey though. It was 40 Canadian dollars for 8 gigs plus 50 minutes of talk time. If you can wait to be outside of the airport area, you'll find it at a much more cheaper price in most of the corner store. We bought a 10 Canadian dollar card and had enough data for entire 2 weeks trip. For your transportation, the airport offers a flat rate of 270,000 rupiah to bring you anywhere in Kuta or Seminyak. You can obviously find it at a cheaper price. We negotiate our transport with a private taxi that was willing to drive us to Seminyak for 100,000 rupiah. We didn't find any taxi that would turn on the meter. To get an idea of how much you should pay, contact your hotel beforehand to get an idea. On the same subject, we noticed by the end of our trip, as we took the taxi meter to get to the airport at the departure area, we saw that it was way less crowded and it would be smart for our arrival passenger to get their taxi meter there. Let us know if any one of you tried that. We book our stay at many places, but we would recommend without any hesitation the Sunset Legion. We found this place through Airbnb and if you use our referral link, in the description box below, you'll benefit up to 50 Canadian dollar credit for your first booking. The place is very nice and clean, it offers a beautiful pool and a free breakfast in the morning for 42 Canadian dollar per night. This is our typical breakfast, Balinese breakfast. So we have freshly made coffee, salad, some fried rice, chicken with some lemongrass, sausage, and some kind of salad. Very good, everything is very fresh here. Driving a scooter, it's relatively easy if you are a experimented driver. Make sure you have an international driver license, wear your helmet at all time and you will be just fine to venture out. Bali is well known for the temples, here's some suggestion for you to go within a reasonable distance from Kuta. Uluwatu Temple is located on a cliff with an impressive view on the ocean. The temple is being visited very much by the locals and you'll find yourself emerged by the culture. Men have to wear long pants and women need to cover shoulder and legs. If you forget to bring the right clothes, they will lend you a scarf for free. Another temple not to miss is the Tanala temple. This temple is on the island that become reachable by walk at the low tide. People come here especially for the beautiful sunset.
Now Bali it's also well known for the beach. One of the most popular is the double six beach. If you come here, don't miss your chance to take a surf lesson or just rent a board. If you do, please say hi to my dear friend Jan who taught Jay to surf within less than 30 minutes. The double six beach offer one of the most epic sunset that you will see in Bali. The bars along the beach will put out their chair and musician to entertain you during the lovely sunset. If you wish to try local food, here's two places to put on your list. Warung Mura is located near the Double Six Beach. It offers authentic cuisine with a reasonable price. Second place would be the Made Warung, a lovely garden with night spectacle and delicious cuisine. <laughs> Which is a traditional restaurant here that's pretty well renowned. As you can see, it's a beautiful outdoor kind of sitting with the show at night and uh, Pakyu to the traditional plates with a little bit of everything and a lot of chili. And I got a pad thai with chicken and shrimp, and of course, my favorite coconut water. Let's begin. If you're a seafood lover, Jimbaran is a small fisherman village next to Siminyak. The place is very quiet, the beach is calm and completely the opposite of the double six beach. find there many small shops and restaurants that offer daily catch from the sea. You can choose your seafood and it's freshly grilled. The price is very reasonable for a romantic lunch by the sea. Another very good spot to try at least once is the famous Potato Head. For a minimum spending of 500,000 rupiah, you'll get a sunbed by the pool. It is pricier, but the service, the infinity pool, the sunbed, and the spectacular beach view will charm you just like in a 5 star hotel. Small advice come there early around 9 am to reserve your spot. For nightlife, you'll find a very good spot in Kuta named Sky Garden. Many floors with different music, rooftop terrace, you'll like this place. I hope you like this review. If you do, hit that like button as it helps to do more review like this. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to see our next review, the Mount Batur and Ubud. Also, let us know in the comment section if we miss anything as this will help other travelers like us. Thanks for watching.